Thank you for stopping by my channel. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell, double click it so you get notifications on all. And while you're at it, make sure your phone has notifications turned on. Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty in the Stamper. Happy Friday to you. And today we're going to be doing a card with the happiest of birthdays. We're going to be using this wishing you a happiest of birthdays stamp. It's a clean stamp set. So I've got my blocks, I've got my ink, and I've decided that I'm gonna do a monochromatic card and quick and easy with Pretty Peacock. So let's go ahead and get out everything we need. And while I'm doing that, you guys go ahead, take a snapshot of this. It's got my uh, information on where you can purchase any of the stuff here. It also has my July host code. And then of course, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, or you make a $50 minimum purchase in July, then you will be able to uh, attend my August online bingo class. All right, that is my little spiel. So let me go ahead and flip this over so you don't have to stare at it the whole time. And we're gonna get started. I've got some crumb cake because that goes really well with the Pretty Peacock uh, paper, what's it called? Scalloped Linen Ribbon. So it's really pretty. It's got those scallops on there. And so I also have all my things that I need every time I make a card. Stamp and seal. We've got our scissors, our snips, our um, take your pick tool, and then a bone folder. This is what I have every single time. And then I've got more times than not, a D block. This time I have to go a little bit bigger with, what size is this one? This is the E block. I also have some foam adhesive strips. Since we're going with the Pretty Peacock, I also have some strips of Pretty Peacock. I have some ribbon in the Pretty Peacock that I showed you, and then I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. All right, let me show you. When you want to cut some ribbon and you don't know the exact size, do you know that you could just take this, wrap it around your D block, turn it into just a regular square knot, and then you'll get this. So let me show you. Well, this is the smaller side, but you do it on the larger side, and you're gonna get a perfect six inches approximately of ribbon. So that's going to be able to go all the way around either way with minimal um, ribbon to go to waste. So that's the only reason I had this block out. And now I have this beautiful cut there. And then you just take and you're going to cut right on the back. And like I said, it will go all the way around or go this way. So good little tip there. We've got our other block and we're going to get out our ink. Now that I have all this, I'm going to move it out of the way. Okay. First things first, what I always do is I get my base prepared. This is in crumb cake. I don't know. I always like to have my base prepared just what I like to do and then I set it right off to the side so I know exactly where it's at. We're going to take out the wishing you the happiest of birthdays. We're going to throw that on the block. It doesn't matter. It's a clean set so it's going to get on there nice and tight. We're going to bring our Whisper White and our Pretty Peacock. And we're going to go ahead and ink that up. And we're just going to take that. We're going to line this up a little bit higher up here. And reason being is I want to put that ribbon. Just letting that ink soak in over there. And look at how pretty that is. All right, you guys, this is going to be a fast 
tutorial. So I've got my strips here. And I'm just going to take one of them. I'm just going to take one of them out here. There we go. And I'm going to stick them on here. I'm just going to cut just like that. I'm going to do the same thing here, but since I don't have as much, I'm just going to cut it twice. And go right about here. And go right about there. All right, now we can build our card. Can you believe we're already building our card? I'm going to get out some dimensionals, which again is always something that I have in my repertoire. And feel free to put as many as you like. Since it is long, we're going to put a number of them. And then look what I got. I know, I had to replace it. I couldn't, I still couldn't find it, so I had to replace it. But I love it, and I know if I find it, I can put it in one of my to-go pouches. In fact, it probably is in my to-go pouch now that I just said that. But I love that I could take these off so simply, and it keeps them all right there for me. All right, make sure it opens the right way. And we are going to line this up right in the center. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna take these strips here. And we're gonna take the backings off. But I wanna make sure that I have the ribbon in there as well because these strips are going to help hold that ribbon in place so I'm getting my ribbon here and I'm going to put just a tad of the stamp and seal there oh, I got things falling everywhere All right, we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna put him down right where we want him. We're gonna hold these pieces back. And again, the reason being, everything's gonna stick to me. But we're gonna leave a little indention there. We're gonna wrap this guy right around. and then we're gonna cut it off. And there is more than enough sticky there to hold everything in place. So you'll see, I hope you can still see that. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing to this side. So we've removed that. We've got an approximate there. And this is why I say to um, watch the tutorials. If you just are following from the blog, you might not understand just that free tutorial because I've decided, I don't know if you know or not, uh, I've decided to do free tutorials on Fridays.
and so they are on my blog and then for people who like to have something in hand they can print it out Look how cute that is and then if you need to if there's any going up and above just take your snips and snip that right off just like that and now we're going to take our um, our faceted dots, the in color faceted dots. You can use whatever you'd like on here. And we're just going to pop these guys around. So in order to use this, you just kind of push this up and some of that will come right out. So I'm going to go ahead and I always like to use the big ones. And then alongside a big one, I like to use a small one. And then I like to use a medium one. And how adorable and quick is that card? And it's a great way to use all your strips. It gives some great dimension on here, but it still can be gone through the mail. It might give you a little bit of trouble. You just have to put an extra stamp on there is usually what happens. But look at how little waste there was of that ribbon. Very little. And then if your ribbons don't match up, you can always cut them. So I hope you guys enjoy this card. If so, please give me a big thumbs up. If you want to get the written instructions and the dimensions, it's on my blog, beautyandthestamper.com, and you'll be able to find that there. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next Friday for a free Friday tutorial, and again all week for all my other videos. Have a great day. Bye!